So hello everyone, I hope you are enjoying the seminar uh, so far. Uh, okay, so what we have here is the SmartCom, which is our most compact frequency com, and it has everything inside. So all the optics, all the control electronics, everything is inside this box that you can see here. So uh, typically the SmartCom comes with a bit detection unit at 1542 nanometers, but we can put another two bit detection units at the wavelength that you want. So uh, what you see here are the ports, so one for input, another for the output. But you can have up to two input ports and up to six uh, outputs. So it would go in a square all the way here. Uh, here we have the spectrum analyzer for detecting the bit signal. And here is the basically a touch screen which controls the SmartCom. And uh, it's basically uh, a copy of what we can do also remotely with the laptop. So in this case, we will work with, with the laptop. So the first thing that you would need to do to uh, switch it on is go to this drop-down menu and change from standby to frequency com. So what you see here is the repetition rate of the smart com. And here in the other box is the carrier envelope offset frequency. So the repetition rate is fixed to 100 megahertz, uh, while the CEO frequency is up to 10, um, 10 megahertz. Um, so what we are going to measure, it's a Rio, Rio laser that you can see here, a CW laser. Uh, what we did before is um, basically measure it with a, with a wave meter so that we really know in which mode we are working. So this is already set. Okay, so while uh, I was speaking, the repetition rate was, was log, and now it's fully green, ready to, ready to go. And also the CO frequency, it's, a, it's log already. It usually takes around 30 seconds, so it's pretty fast for having both of them work. Okay, so now that everything is set, let me plug in the CW laser. Okay, just one second. And then just look at the spectrum analyzer. So what you see here is the bit signal uh, of the CW laser with the, with the comb. And just to figure out what is the sign of this bit signal, because it can be negative or positive, but we will see it better later on, what I will do is to change the repetition rate, and then you will see how this will move. So if I go to the software, I click here, and then I start uh, switching this up, so you can see how it moves uh, to the right, so it increases. What it implies is that the um, uh, bit signal is negative, so this will be useful to later on calculate the proper frequency of the laser. So if we now go to the um, uh, software analysis, and if I click this enter, what you see here is the uh, signal of the bit, that goes up to 31 megahertz. So knowing this, and knowing that is in between five uh, and minus five megahertz, we have already fully characterized the, the CW laser. So I will now explain a bit uh, how we really determine this um, sign of the, um, of the bit signal. So, but this is everything that you would need to do to measure properly the frequency of the CW laser. So, see you in a second. Hi again. So, what I want to show you here is how we determine the sign of the bit signal and also the frequency of the CW laser that we are measuring. So, what you see here is the representation of the frequency com that we have already seen throughout this webinar. So, here you see all the different modes and the spacing will be the repetition rate. So, as we have said, the frequency of the CW laser will be given by the frequency of the mode N that we already know because we have measured it with a, a wave meter and also the frequency of the bit. So if you see here, this uh, red line could correspond to the frequency of the CW laser that we want to measure precisely. And here we have the mode N that we already know. So the spacing between these two is the bit signal. And a way to know if this is 
basically to the left or to the right of this, uh, of this mode is by increasing slowly the repetition rate. So when we do this, you can see that the bit signal increases as we saw in the spectrum analyzer. This implies that the frequency of the CW laser lies to the left of this, of this mode. So we need to subtract the bit signal to the uh, frequency of this mode. So just uh, by doing this, this we have already measured as, as I've just said in the spectrum analyzer and also later on in the uh, analysis software we saw that the bit of the signal was 31 megahertz or so. So with this we just figure out what is the frequency of our laser and that's all. Thank you.